important ways to combat the spread is by wearing a mask. They have also become a flashpoint. Two employees at an ice cream shop in Anne Arundel County were beaten when they asked a customer to comply. Police say they have surveillance video of the brutal assault, but they're not releasing it. Well, now there's concern the suspects could harm someone else. Keith Daniels begins our coronavirus team coverage. Keith. Well, sources close to the investigation say detectives are close to an arrest in this case. Police say they're working good leads. And tonight, the victims are watching and waiting. Tonight, waiting for an arrest. Nathia Davis wants the man accused of attacking her caught. What he did to me was wrong. And if he's not caught, I feel like he'll do it to someone else. Davis and McKenna Mortimer were badly beaten on the job at the Cold Stone Creamery in Edgewater Saturday night. Anne Arundel County Police say an argument escalated to violence when the employees told the couple to put on their masks while inside the store. The employees told us last night that it all began with a push from the woman, then punches from the man. We probably got the short end of the stick because this guy hit us. I mean, it was a guy. I remember falling. I remember seeing this foot. I don't remember it connecting. Police say they have surveillance video of the incident, images that could help find the suspects, but they're not releasing it to the public. Police won't say why, but T.J. Smith... Oh, um, pictures and video are paramount to an investigation. A former law enforcement officer and recently chief spokesman for Baltimore City Police says there are times when video that captures a potential suspect should not be released to the public. My investigative hunch would tell me that they have good leads as to who these individuals are, and they're putting together a case. The more you publicize an individual through the media, through social media, the more it could taint a potential photo lineup. Searching for suspects as police work to crack the case. I have faith that they're going to find them. Well, police say the suspects got away in a silver Nissan Altima. Anyone with information about this case is urged to call police. Reporting tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45.